Hi, I'm Troy with John's Manville out of the Rockdale Training Facility. This is a self-adhering corner, which means that it has a tape on the back side of it and no prime, no stick. So anytime we're using our corners, we need to use this, the primer for the same product that we're using. By that I mean TPO needs to be TPO, EPDM needs to be EPDM. And when you prime, make sure you give yourself enough. Don't cheat yourself, because it uh, stinks having to re-hit it again if you miss it. So go big, or go home. <sighs> eh, anything worth doing is worth doing right, you know? So, got it. Plenty of primer. We're gonna let that set up. And of course the primer needs to be dry to the touch. By that I mean when I put my fingers into it, like right now, you see how it's soupy and I got stringers coming up? Way too wet. We gotta wait till it's, when I, till I can touch it, like it is out here, it's already dried. Even that, still got a little bit of stringers on there. Still too wet. Now you don't want to let it dry too much. If it's over dry and it has no sticky feel to it at all, you've lost it and then you got to re-hit it. So right now we're good. No stringers. We're ready to install our corner. So these corners are seven by nine, seven inches by nine inches. I'm basically fold it in half and I'm going to put the little knockout right there is in the middle of it. That's going to go right on my outside corner. I'm going to put it on the vertical first. Now that I've got another vertical, which I do, I'm going to walk it down into my apex or my 90s all the way through. This is very important to make sure that you don't have any stress down here first, so I make sure I'm through all the way, which I am. Of course my 90s being right here and right here, and I'm tight all the way through. Okay, we're going to want to put all the pressure right here, so I'm going to take it with my hands and I'm going to fan it as I'm coming through, stretching it all right through here as I come through. I got my fingers in here. I'm working it out. Of course, it's a pressure sensitive, so we have to roll it. And you'll notice the diamond pattern on this. You distort the diamond pattern when you put the correct amount of pressure in the right area. So if we saw you diamonds that are distorted, on either side, we know somebody's stuck in on one side and stretched it all the way around, which doesn't work, and that's why they end up popping off of your, your corner 90s right here, your apex. You put the pressure in the correct area, these stay tight, they will not pop. Now what we need to do to finish it off is put John's Manville black EPDM lap caulk all the way around the corner. Notice you don't need to put it on the flashings all the way around because we have our seam tape sticking out one quarter of an inch, maximum of a half, all the way around our box. That is considered self caulking. We do not have the exposed tape on our corner, therefore we need to caulk. Notice that the caulk tube is cut at an angle, so I do not have to worry about tooling it in. I'm actually doing that as I'm installing. I get tool it in with as you're going. And the reason for that, you don't want to thin it out too much more. 